Some pundits are simply perma bears that moan and groan about how the market will collapse taking you and civilization with it. I might seem like one of them because I've been writing about stock market and crypto crashes for months now. However, I am in general a bull and the difference between me and the Jeremiah's is that when markets do crash I get bullish and I buy, and I sing how the market is going up, all the while most people are writing how it's the end. The stock market crash isn't over, but it's getting close to the end. This is my roadmap in short, my best guess on the bottom of the S&P 500 is 3, 500. There are debatable axioms in this calculation but the key one is that the Federal Reserve knows what it's doing, and what it is up to is clipping inflation's wings but not stamping it out, while draining excess cash from the system by letting asset prices pull back enough to suck out the right amu. I don't have a precise model for the effect on liquidity of a stock market crash, but so far more than 10 trillion dollars of asset value and thereby available collateral has been destroyed in the U s markets while this might not have a one-to-one -one multiplier to the money supply injected by the federal reserve during COVID, it will have a strong counteracting deflationary effect without the fed having to deal hammer blows to the real economy this is no free market real estate and stocks are core to the american way vital and it turns out manageable to the government and its regulators and they've been curating them for over a decade now. There will be no systemic failure, only a series of haircuts to wealth as the post-COVID economic environment is configured. That is my current thesis and if it is correct we are approaching levels where support for assets prices will reappear. It will be at a point to create an easing in inflation while not collapsing it. A couple of years of elevated inflation and sideways trading for assets will see the process over and the economy and markets will be rebalanced and ready to move ahead. What about the Nasdaq and the tech darlings? There, too, the terminus of this crash is close. 10, oh, oh, oh is a no-brainer call and 9, oh, oh, oh is a possibility. In a free market it would be 5, oh, 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 but this isn't. So a systemic failure will be stopped before it begins, 